Can you condense over 35 hours worth of citizen con footage into one 10 minute video? That is what I've attempted to do here. Join me as we look through every year, we get the highlights and we try and make it as short as possible. So let's go. First citizen con from Austin, 2013. And it's fair to say, there wasn't much to show at this point. They're really just getting off the ground CRG. They hadn't got many staff. Then they really were at the very early stages of development. So we got some videos from the design team, the engineering and the art team. They're showing some behind the scenes work that they're doing some concept art here. But really, this was not as spectacular as any of the following Citizen Cons in any way. Then you got the Gladiator reveal, which was quite exciting back then. And then some here, a little bit of video from their partners, their external partners who they're using for a lot of external art that they're getting in. The Retaliator then was revealed. Turbulent showed us a bit of the first look at organizations that came online in a few years time. And then we get into the, probably the biggest thing, Foundry 42, the Manchester studio coming on board with Chris Roberts' brother, Erin, joining. Next, we have a hangar demo. So we had the hangar at this point. The fish tank was a big highlight. Big cheer for that, that shows where we're at. And then the Avenger was in engine. And then the next great starship was revealed. And then to finish off, we had a Hornet trailer. So that was it. It wasn't particularly spectacular, but at the time it did feel spectacular because it was the first we had. So there we go, that was 2013. Next up, LA 2014, and it's definitely a bigger and better system con. Production values have gone up. It looked less like it had been made in the 90s, but we had a nice look at all the studios, a bit of talking from each one. Foundry 42 had showed us their progress on the Squadron 42, looking at the Shuban grey box here. And interestingly, the devs, when they were talking in their kind of talking headpieces, were all quite certain that Squadron 42 was coming in the next year or so, which obviously didn't quite happen. Look at Bartender there, some AI, and then into Arena Commander, Chris talking about that. We then had a bit of a look at the Vandal, the first look at the model in the Cutlass trailer, which was very nice, and their trailers definitely got better. Very nice look there. The 890 jump was revealed with a nice brochure and some concept art from the inside. Obviously, it'll be a long time until we saw this in game. Then we've got the Austin Studio talking us through what they've been working on, looking at racing, a bit of a look at the M50, and then also looking at what they've been working on for the Persistent Universe at that time. Bit of a look at the cities. Tony Zurek, bit of hand waving, and then we've also got some nice concept art here. But here's the main bit, the demo showing us going from space down to the planet. But this isn't what we get now. This was a faked landing almost where they're kind of loading us through the clouds and then you're down to the city. So it's all on rails. But this is a first look really at Area 18 or what it used to look like. Obviously, graphically, the game actually has improved quite a lot from this time. And Area 18 doesn't look like this today, but it was a cool first look at what is actually coming. And then here's their roadmap for the future, which didn't quite pan out exactly like that. But <laughs> there we go. Manchester 2015 now, a lot of drama coming into this one, but we've got a good look at Alpha 2.0, or what would eventually become Alpha 2.0. Looking at the gameplay here, demo straight away, which was very nice at the time. Obviously the game doesn't look quite like this, but this first look outside of Port Olasar, looking at Crusade there, was pretty spectacular. And then some multi-crew gameplay, and this really does resemble sort of what the gameplay is today. Comrades do exist still in the game, sort of like this. Then we had a nice look at some repair drones, which don't quite exist today. And then a look at security port Korea, which is still there and still quite a massive part of the game, really. Uh, a bit of FPS shooting to get us all excited. And then after that, then they finish the demo off with this kind of nice pan around all the destinations that you'll be able to visit when Alpha 2.0 comes online. Nice look at the star map, which is on the website. This again is pretty cool, still, still pretty cool, but just showing us the scale of the universe. A sort of awkward look at the uh, HOTAS, which never came to be, and then Bishop's speech from the Senate, which was nice, a kind of sneak peek of Squadron 42, and then all of the crazy names, all the celebrities who they'd paid to do all the facial and motion capture stuff to be actors in the game but then the all famous 2016 release date which obviously didn't quite come then some behind the scenes of how they'd made this very cool look at gary oldman stretching his face and then just to look at the motion capture sessions and all the actors lots of exciting famous people here again this was a, probably the high point of hype for squadron 42 i think in my opinion and then we finish off with the all famous morrow tour a look around the idris in squadron 42 talking to some of the characters some nice canteen shots here and then finishing off with a mission briefing 
LA 2016, we start off with a look at Spectrum from Turbulent, which is very nice. It kind of looks like this today. This resembles what we have. Then the Polaris was revealed, and we then had a look at Squadron 42, looking at the tech hurdles, and also a status update on what's going on, including 2.6 and Star Marine, and then some slides which never really came to be, and we're still waiting for a lot of those things, 4.0 included. V2 Planet Tech demo. Now, this was pretty spectacular, looking at a first look at V2 and really they've done a really good job with this and, and it's obviously better now with V4 but we had a look down coming down on the planet then we had a nice ride as they kind of showed off the scale and a bit of cinematic stuff here as well explosions FPS shooting trying to show us the full picture of what playing Star Citizen will be and then a nice bit of uh, driving around on the Dragonfly and then finally doing some nice takedowns and infiltrating this bit showing the scale there going back and then finishing off sandworm and uh, very cool at the time i don't think we'll be seeing the sandworm anytime soon then we had a look at behind the scenes how they'd made this looking at the planet tech how they kind of paint the planet with all these different uh, elements and then a quick look at uh, the sort of squadron 42 and then a look at the idris in engine looking back it's probably the most controversial citizen con purely because those slides those 3.0 slides we're still waiting for those five years later but let's keep going Next up, Frankfurt 2017, which felt like a full convention, really. We had a whole day's worth of content, different panels going on, showing us all sorts of things, how the characters walk over things, how the graphics tech is working, Jean, Jean language, looking at the planets, the moons, and then also the consolidated Outland Pioneer and land claims, a bit controversial. Then we get into the demo, which is a look at Art Corp and Hurston, starting off on Art Corp, showing some, some of the Area 18 stuff, and then flying above the planet in an Aurora, which was an amazing look at really how the planet could come on, and then seeing the scale of the whole planet and the fact that we'd just been down there. No loading screens, pretty mind blowing at the time. Then there's a jump to Hurston, but whilst that jump's going on to show that it's in real time, they showed us some behind the scenes look at the city editors and the planet tech that they've been working on, Get some flow graphs a look at the truck stops how they're building that using procedural stuff and then just a look around that in game engine as well as then a look at how they build out those cities we then arrive at hurston go down to the planet fly around a bit over to the city lawville and again it doesn't really look like this now but it was a cool look at the city for the first time then a bit of a walk a bit of riding on the knocks and then into the city and then finishing off with this nice kind of cinematic with some fauna which again we don't quite have but who knows we might get that eventually Next up, we're back in Austin for 2018, and you'll see a 3.3 demo. So this is actual gameplay that was coming into the game. Nice look at a mission giver there, and then it's a satellite mission. So nice jumping around, cutting things, shooting things, jumping out of spaceships, and then going down to do a bunker mission. So it was quite a good demo. Uh, the AI worked slightly better than it does actually on live servers, but you then take this and, and then there's a taking it back to be dropped off. So it actually felt like it was real and this is gameplay that is in the game. We then had panels in the middle of the day. Tony Zurich gave a nice good old look at economy. Then we have some look at the volumetric cloud stuff and then finish off the day with road to release looking at what is released what are the things they actually need to do telemetry was there and then a final look at the squadron 42 cinematic teaser which was pretty spectacular and, and you see how far they've come since the last look at some of these characters it really was quite amazing and that that really was the end of 2018. We're in Manchester for 2019, and first up, we have a demo that's split in half. So we're in the, in the Carrick in the Pisces, go down to New Babbage, and we're flying over the V4 Planet Tech stuff, which looks pretty spectacular, into a shuttle, effectively, and then you're off to do a mission. They then pause it there, they did panels throughout the day, all sorts of things. We've got sound, we've got law, we've got prisons, theatres of war, looking at the UI, looking at armour, also looking at concept for the Pisces, and then Tony Z is a big thing on Quanta, which is very cool. Then we're looking at what's coming next, platform persistence, full persistence, server meshing, all these things come in the future that still <laughs> we're waiting for. Back in the demo, we're looking at dynamic weather, then they kind of stage this stealing of this data for this server, uh, and then we run outside, escaping all the things, get on a big suit, and then looking at some of the dynamic weather, how that works, how it affects VFX as well with the snow, looking at the cloth on the rover, then going back into the Carrick. We then shoot some enemies, we then quantum travel away to a jump ring, and then the probably the most spectacular bit, we go for the jump point, we have a look at 
this wormhole travel and then we end up in pyro which is a nice look at pyro and then really the demo finishes and then we have a slide which shows us that pyro dynamic weather should come in 2020 doesn't quite happen obviously We're probably waiting for that until 2022 and that is the end of that well done if you've made it all the way to the end like the video if you liked it subscribe if you like and normally it's a technical look at star citizen today's not so much and you can even join the channel now if you'd like to give money to internet strangers but that's enough i'll see you soon bye